I don't normally do lore. It's actually pretty interesting, a little bit satisfying to go through it. There's lots of it, but today we're going to look at Pyro. Pyro seems to be on the menu with yesterday's show. Hello YouTubers, this is Anubavar. We push on with all the new fun stuff. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I try to be very economical with your time, and if you like that, please sub, like, and share. 36 minutes into the panel called Life in the Verse, we got a decent sized overview of Pyro and its moons. Let me take you on a tour with some of the lore that we know. Pyro is hostile, vast, lawless, brutal, unforgiving. You should insert any other adjectives that you fancy as comments in the comment section. I'm going to compile them and send them directly to Xylo. We did see Pyro two years ago as a bit of a jump from a wormhole at that year's CitizenCon. Dusty, broken asteroids, crazy looking storms with red lightning, but it won't stop there as there's much, much more to see. And as I said, it's vast. That panel yesterday was technical in nature, but today I've decided to focus more on the location rather than the technical achievement. So let's get into it. Sleeves up. Explorers first knew about Pyro around 2450, but it was some years later that it was actually visited. <laughs> Pyro is in the process of full self-destruction. Its red dwarf flare star is split after a prolonged nova with huge ramifications to the surrounding system. It's violent, and that's the reason that it's devastated. In total, there are six planets, each deteriorating further. Travel anywhere in this system will require protective gear and planning. Law in the conventional sense is absent, as only those who wish to be left alone find value in its desolation. In the past, corporations have mined the areas clean. They also planned to colonize and terraform, but found no suitable site, currently assessed to be beyond economic viability. Any value comes at too high of a price, either in life or added complexity. The planets are named radially from the star, which is called Pyro. Pyro 1 is said to be burnt, a black ball constantly being tormented by the star. Near it, there is an asteroid field. I imagine it's equally hostile. Pyro 2 was a popular place for locals during the metal rush, but it now stands empty, barren and void. Its core, unlike standard, isn't metal, meaning it might have some unusual gravity. Pyro 3 was center stage yesterday. It's believed to have been Earth-like, but due to a catastrophic collision with a piece of shattered planet, it was pushed way off of orbit, resulting in swings in climate that ruined its viability. Parts of it are constantly volcanic and ablaze, others are populated with moss and vegetation near the coastline, huge mountains reminiscent of the Rockies, and low-lying areas with thick carpet of yellow moss. Their demo gave us a huge set of footage showing it off. It now has a thin atmosphere, clouds with constant thunderstrikes. From above, you can definitely see that it was Earth-like at one time. Outposts are reminiscent of some Star Wars canon, and I will tack on some footage later on walking around Pyro 3. Pyro 4 has been stripped clean of its value, and due to a collision with an equally massive object, it's now slowly on a collision course with Pyro 5. Pyro 5 is a gas giant comprised of mostly impure hydrogen, which offers limited value in fuel collection. It's said to be distinctively visual, being a mixture of green and yellow. It's surrounded by many small moons. They're all named after fire things. Pyro 6 is the least affected by the issues with the busted star. Gold Horizon was working to inhabit it, but terraforming stopped years ago. There is a permanent station simply called Ruin, which is home to pirate gangs. Fighting back and forth changes who's in charge. Due to all of the collisions in the system, it has strings of asteroids all over, there's dust clouds, storms, and there are no fewer than seven permanent jump points connecting it, ensuring that there's lots of traffic for piracy. So we come to the end of the lore of Pyro system. I hope you can see how very different it is to what we're used to bombing around in with Stanton and Crusader. It's listed as being part of patch 4.0 after some server optimizations. They seem to have a real grasp on the look and feel despite on some of the new stuff conflicting directly with some of the legacy lore. I don't mind so much, I never really got too invested in the lore to begin with, but Pyro 3 does look sick. Please take a look for some of the other videos that have been released recently, specifically a tour of the BMM in its current form. You won't want to miss out on that. Like, share and sub, thank you very much for spending your time with me, fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.